project would be painting all this. Um, I think it's a little ambitious for this time of year. Maybe a lot ambitious, but this is something I would like to do. So I'm considering doing this or maybe wait till the spring, but I'm gonna go look. I looked the other day at some paint. It's cinder block on the sides. It's a two bay car garage, but it's to be considered. And then there's a door, door where I keep the garbage um, here. I would do that a different color. Um, this I would do different color for sure. And then this, I'm not sure yet. I'd have to figure it as I go along. But anyways, it's food for thought. There's a little window there too. Just uh, considering doing this. It'd be a lot easier to spray, but then that's another couple hundred bucks to buy that too. So I might just roll it. I'm not trying to spend tons of money on this, but I want it done nicely. I think I could roll it pretty easy. I do. Um, I think the hardest part would be the trimming out. Oh, you know, I'm always back to my store here, my second home. Gotta get my nippy stick on. I'm gonna go take a peek at something and see if this is worth doing right now. The weather is absolutely beautiful. It's like 75 or 80 out, 24 Celsius. Seeing if there's any lights in the clearance section. Uh, but I don't see any. You just never know though, right? Just might be your lucky day. Um, there's one, but not what I'm looking for. That's okay. I'll take a little peek here. Um, not what I'm looking for either. Well, it's very bright down here. Maybe it's kind at the thrift store all the time, but it's not really what I want it. I want it, oh, exactly what I want it over here. This, that kind of this style, like that one or that one, sort of like that. Um, two of them would look great. Now, I just want it faux because I don't have electricity in the garage because it's not attached to the house. So, um, I'd want to find them on sale because I'm not really using them. I'd love to have it really electric. I mean, I could get an electrician and get them to do all that, but it costs hundreds of dollars to do that, and I'm not doing that right now. Um, the driveway needs done before I do that. The driveway needs to be, um, what do you call it, sealed? Or the driveway needs to be down in asphalt or whatever. Now, they have these ones for $39, but I think they're, oh, they're rechargeable battery. Wall sconces, oh, they're not for outside. Look at that, though. That would have been really cool, right? 40 bucks. Too bad that wasn't cool for outside. Because there's these two spaces that I could hang it perfect. Uh, decisions, decisions. It might be an afterthought. I have to find it on sale or something like that. This, I just lit it up, too. It's just a push button. That would be wonderful. I wonder if it has a remote to it. But wouldn't that be nice? You'd need a remote. My hands are so wrapped up for all these projects. I need to shut this off, but it's not shutting off. Leave for inside, but it would have worked though. I like that one there too, beside the bigger one. It's slender. I kind of, I think I like that better. The $75 one, 74. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not happening today. The project for the paint and the brushes alone will be 200. The wreaths will be another hundred. If I bought a sprayer, it'd be another hundred and something. Um, probably a 500 with the lights, probably $600 or something like that. I'm gonna go look again and see what I can figure out. Okay, if I went with a paint sprayer, they're pretty expensive. They have the cheaper ones here for like 160. I, the one's really cheap for, I don't know how good they are. I really don't. Um, 200 bucks for this one. I don't know, but it make the job a whole lot easier. The prep's a lot more though with the paint spray. I know that, like a lot more prep, but easier job to spray, right? Another expense I didn't uh, occur. I think of 
like even if I went with the cheap one, which is this one here, it's 130, this one's 160. I don't know what the difference is between these two. I don't know. Lighting's really bad in here, but I was trying to make this look like there's only a little piece of it on the side of the door. Um, trim in the inside where the bay is, and then the door black. I was trying to make it look like a wood trim. That was kind of the effect I was going for without spending only a couple hundred bucks rather than a couple thousand. Found this and it's cheaper, but if I could find a couple long ones, like rather than short, maybe that's why it's cheap, right? But um, I was just trying to frame out the bay, the bays, the doors, have that black and then have that trimmed around. It's sort of like that if you're getting the drift. Um, I like the wood, of course. I tell them these are on sale, these ones, but they're short. I need at least, I think, seven feet. I could get this wood here. I don't know how thick it is. It's eight feet by, I don't know, six, five, six, or the ones that we did the fence with. But I kind of like this one better. And I think I need six of them. And then what about the doorway? So these are just food for thought. I was thinking of doing paint, but it might be a bit harsh. I think this might be better. So, sorry for the noise. Picking out the wood now to do this. Can't wait to get it all done. I'm renting a sprayer for tomorrow morning, nine o'clock. It's all washed and ready. It's getting prepped. Uh, Emmanuel sanded all the sides. He didn't pick the weeds though, so he's fired. But anyways, he, he did all he did all the sides. We got two reefs already. We're way ahead of ourselves. Going to get the the machine in the morning. Got the paint. Got the wood. Things are looking up. These are the only real big ones they have. They're forty dollars, but you could add like seasonal stuff to it. Like, no, no, I don't. No, I don't think you could add all kinds of season. That's why I kind of wanted the boxwood ones. You could do seasonal stuff, but I don't see any of them here at Canadian Tire. So something like, no, even that's too Christmassy. I don't know if I should buy these because there's only a couple of them, or I should wait. Because I really don't want to store a bunch of seasonal stuff. Right? Anyways, I'm on the fence. I found a couple big reefs. Oh, some Halloween candy. But I found a couple uh, big reefs. They're big. And am I going to really do everything seasonal? Probably Christmas is the most that I'm going to do. Um, the boxwood ones, I can't find one. And ones I did find were too small. I would like to find a couple lights like sort of like that one or this one um i like that one there i think that one's nice something like that well or i don't know this is a, another thing i don't mind that one up there either to hang over like the bay i'm heading up to um canadian hair good morning everyone i'm heading to uh Home Depot to go pick up the sprayer that I rented. I got the paint and everything yesterday. I'm gonna go grab that now. I had to put it on hold. And I'm gonna start in this corner over here in the back, this side, and then move along into here. So everything's prepped and washed and ready to rock and roll. There's a lot of imperfections, like obviously, but I'm not gonna stress over that because I'm just gonna make this work and do my best. I have some weeds I gotta pick down here too. And then the back here, I got it. Oh, I forgot to bring the tape down. I bought plastic to cover the windows and I'm just gonna move that aside so I can do that. I'll push it back and then I can spray back there. I'm just gonna spray all this out. I'm even doing up there. And then I'm gonna trim everything out. Wish me luck. And I'm on my way to my second home, Homey Depot. Went to get the sprayer. And I'm not gonna lie, the tutorial was a little intimidating because it's a heavy duty one, like industrial or whatever. But I'm gonna play around with it with some water first before I put the paint in it. 
moving all this stuff here, the garbage cans and stuff. Anyways, um, there's a big overspray on it, so I don't want it to get on my camera, but I'll videotape in between. But you guys will see the befores and after, so that's all that really matters. Every, nobody needs to watch someone spray painting. Um, <coughs> I'm gonna tape this off. So maybe I should paint around there, tape that off. And then I think I have to move this a little bit. So I'm gonna have to get my blower. Okay, I'm gonna go get busy. Got some plastic and do the window and the doorknobs and all that stuff. Window um, taped up. I just have to do the door now, pizza blue hole. And then this is the pressure adjuster. Okay, uh, this. <sighs> needs to go about there. You'll hear it start. That's for the priming position. Okay. The primer is on this side, okay. which can only be engaged when it's actually switched down. Okay. Okay. If it's up, it just means it's in the run position. That means you're ready to use it. Okay. Okay. Um, so once you have put it down in the prime position and have this sticking out into a, another bucket or a pail, uh, Wait, what's in the other bucket? Nothing? Nothing. Okay. So what it's going to do is going to cycle the stuff through the system, push the air out. Okay. So once it pushes the air out, then you're able to actually pressurize the system and start using it. Okay. Okay. Uh, so we're going to do that. So, uh, next thing, when you're unpressurizing this, you gotta make sure to turn it off first. Okay? Release the pressure from the gun. So basically, you're just gonna be like squirting it back, 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 yeah. back in the bucket. Okay? Now, once you think, then you're gonna get, grab the primer selector and you're just gonna slowly turn it down, slowly. I sat with the guy at Home Depot and he showed me how to use this. It. A little intimidating, I'm not gonna lie about it. Um, need the driveway done, the list, but it's not happening today. Anyways, got this all prepped, going around the corner. All the plastic down, the window's done, the door's done. Here, and come around. So if there's any mistakes, it'll be done over there. <laughs> well, instead of at the front, which makes total sense to me. So now I'm just gonna take this plastic, go around, because it's just residual spray and who needs that all over? Um, sure, could I do a lot to this garage? Probably, but this would be a nice little makeover. Prepped and ready to run. Okay. Take the guy in the store demonstrating the tutorial to me. So I think I'll watch it five times. I knew what I knew now. I would buy a hand one and do it like that instead of this great big, I mean, this is probably gonna be way faster once you get the mojo, but it's intimidating. If I knew what I knew now, what about the hand one? It costs the same money because it's like $200. Well, it's 125 plus other, plus tax, plus uh, security, plus um, insurance. So it comes to like $200 and none of that's refundable. So anyways, long story short, if I knew what I knew now, I would have spent $200 on a hand one. It wouldn't have held as much paint, and when it done is probably, this is probably a better job, but it is what it is, right? Just practicing with water, just to learn how to use it, practicing. There you go. First coat's on, and it looks absolutely amazing, but it's eaten a lot of paint. I'm gonna probably have to go get another couple gallons. I should've just bought a five gallon. I'm back up to Home Depot, I gotta get paint. So I phoned, it's $260 for the five gallon. I spent $250 the first day. So that's $510. The rental was $188. Two weeks or $100. I'm up to about $800. Bucks. A bit of a rookie mistake, I guess. I got two gallons of paint thinking that would be enough. I think if you rolled it, it would be. Should have bought a five gallon. But I'm back up here to buy more paint. But I am going to buy a five gallon because eventually I want to paint the siding on the house too. So what I don't use, I'll use for that. And it needs two coats and I could go on and on and on. I'm back up here to get paint. But the sprayer is amazing. It looks good already. So happy with that part. Yeah, I did want to do the project of my kitchen counter, but I guess I'm not going to get that done now. Sun's on it. So he can't see, but it's looking pretty 
pretty good. It's doing the trim here. Got a little bit of overspray on the door, but that's okay. Took it off with the with the brush, and now we'll go. When we get to that point, we'll do it a little uh, lighter on the door. You know, it's a learning curve, guys. Learning curve. Everything's a learning curve. Uh, you know, just like you think a three hundred dollar job turns into eight hundred. <laughs> it is what it is. There we go. Okay, first coat's done, wait four hours, the second one's going on. It's actually amazing how good this machine works and how fast it, it does it. It's the prep that takes you time. All good. Oh, while the paint's drying, I'm gonna cut all the dead hostas out. Don't sit down or anything, you know. Just keep going and going and going. These, these two trees are still doing pretty good. I'm gonna rotate them too, I think I let them. It's been a lot of sun lately. Had an amazing fall. Paint's dry. I went to go look at a couple open houses that aren't ready to be open, but you can see the skyline. Oh, maybe you can't see it from here. CN Tower. There you can. There. Here to look at an open house. Look at that. So pretty, princess. Oh, well, the paint should be drying the house. Time to go back to work. Okay, it's all done. Just drying. And it looks amazing. And Manny's gonna do all the wood around the trim for me. Cause it's like that. <laughs> Cause he said he'd do it, so he shouldn't open his mouth. <laughs> now it goes like that. Looks great. There it is, right there, it's in the eaves draft. Back to my second home. I'm gonna drop off this piece of equipment and it's cleaner than when I got it. I need to paint the back of the house now. <laughs> Ripple effect. Manny's gonna put up a board here for me so I can see how it looks. Probably easier to get the other one to be honest with you. Onto it. And he's gonna just countersink a couple little holes and then he's putting it up there. And then we're trimming out the other sides too. Yeah. Just two holes, Manny, is that what you're doing? I'm just gonna do two here. Two countersink holes. So the screw's going really easy. There you go. Sorry, got a little dumb there for a minute been going all day. Looks really good though. There you go. And because he pre-sunk them, it's just like bang, bang, going in so easy. He makes it look so easy. <laughs> I'd, st I'd still be here with the saw. Thank you, Manny. It really does look nice. Thanks for doing it tonight, Manny. You didn't have to do that. Well, just, you know what? Everything you, matters. You, you, Appreciate it. Looks good. If you have a vision, you can make it come to light. Beautiful. Okay, one more side to go and we're done. Or I'm not done, Manny's done. Ha <laughs> ha. Got it. Uh, Bob's cousin over here, so now it looks pretty. Well, the planter will stay there and we'll have to do seasonal stuff there, but that's from the front of the house, so it's not staying right now, but it's a thought. It makes it look pretty. Manny's just doing the other side now, and we're done. Call it a day. All right, looks nice. I'm going to end this video, but I just wanted to take the time um, to thank Manny so much for not making me wait on putting the boards up and thank him so much for helping me. It means the world to me. Made the project get done in one day. Uh, you know, you run out of steam after a while. The door turned out pretty well. I got a little bit of overspray on here, which I can take off with some turpentine. Not much, just a little bit. I can do a touch up and I need a touch up there. So I'll pull that out later on today and get that done. Otherwise, very pleased with it, very pleased. Um, I just need a paintbrush to do that. And I'm gonna do that when I come back, weather permitting. it's. I got a couple days still to do the couple little touch-ups. But again, I'm closing this video. And uh, I hope to see you guys in the next one. And if you haven't already, like and subscribe. I'm working already on my Ralph video. I already started. Started decorating. Takes me a while. So I'll get there when I get there. Did such a good job installing this too. Nice and tidy. He countersinked him. I think that's the key, right? 
but it looks good. Everything looks good. This is a very old, old garage that looks very fresh. Now, the problem with this is, uh, see how ambitious I can be, and maybe Manny will help me. <laughs> I don't know. See how ambitious I can be in the spring. I would like to paint all this, uh, the add-on to the back of the house, add-on to the back of the house here. So, but I'd have to, it, the hard part isn't this. I'll show you what's hard. The peak up there, and there's one in the front. Now the peaks are wood. Those two peaks, the peak up there and the peak in the front are wood. Now this is siding. The peaks are not siding, it's, it's actual wood because that's original to the house. And then this and this is all siding and in the back, this is the add-on to the house where the brick ends. Anyways, that's the challenging part right there. I'm closing. And if you have a vision, guys, go rent a tool, put your vision to fruition. And really, it was the paint that cost the most. It drank a lot of paint, and I did use cinder block paint. The color, just if everybody wants to know, it's called Limousine Leather uh, by Bear. And the wood on the side is just pressure treated wood. It was the cheapest wood I could get. I think it was six or seven dollars a board. So I can stain it. I don't know if I have the energy to do that this week or in the spring. I'm in no rush. But, you know, for now, it looks fresh, it looks good, and I'm happy with it. So we'll see you guys all in the next video. Ciao. And a very special thanks for Manny. I truly appreciate him um, helping me. It means the world to me.